Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Catherine Stewart and I am moving to Disney World on August 22nd. Um, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I have a little less than a month left and uh, I'm just so ready to be there. Um, but anyway, this video is kind of, I've been accepted. Now what do I do? Kind of video. Um, I know I've watched so many videos on acceptances, phone interviews, move-in day vlogs, but I've never seen, like, the in-between period. Like, you know, I've been accepted, but now I have to wait six months before I move. So what do I do from now until then? So this is all the things leading up to move-in day. Um, just kind of just giving you insight on what you're going to be doing to prepare to move to Flamingo, move to Disney World. So hope you enjoy. Okay, so today is June 20th, which means that I had my countdown to your DCP Zoom. Um, it started at 3. No, it started at 2. And, where's my dog? Say hello. And it just finished. It's 3 o'clock. And um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information of what it was about. So, it was just basically an overview of what you need to prepare to go to Disney, what you'll need to have when you arrive. And all of that good stuff so it had there were three recruiters on there and they were the ones that talked um they did your arrival timeline they talked a little bit about the company um let's see okay so within your arrival timeline they did dorms registration parking decal pre-arrival requirements lease itinerary arrival day training schedule traditions and then they did program components, which is creating the magic, studying the magic, and experiencing the magic. And then they did your company perks, which is what you'll get when you're working for the DCP. And then they answered common questions. So I might insert some pictures so I can show you the notes that I took if you are interested. Or I can just link the document down below so you can read that if you want to. But it was very informing. I was glad I was getting on it. So I don't know if they always have this. But if they do have the countdown to your DCP Zoom, I would definitely recommend getting on it and taking a lot of notes because it is a lot of helpful information that you will need to prepare yourself to arrive to your Disney College program. So, just a little quick information on this little Zoom I had just a minute ago. Today is Monday, June 26th, which means I have two months until my arrival date. Um, I got my dorms registration email today, so let's go register for dorms. All right, I'm all registered on dorms. Yay! Um, so you had to just put all of your like legal information in again. You had to put if you're bringing a vehicle and you had to fill in like all the things about your vehicle. Um, you had to agree to the payroll information. There was just a little thing to read and you had to agree to that. And then you could link with your roommate, um, which I'm so excited about. I hope it works out. And then you could put your room preference on there. You had to like list them in order from two by two, four by two, four by four. You can put them all in order. So it wasn't too hard. It only took me about five minutes or so. But now I've done everything that I can do and it's Disney's turn to send me stuff. Okay, so obviously it's the next day, but I just remembered some information that I was told that I figured would be important for anybody that's watching this that might not get told this. So when you are registering for your dorms account, you also are linking with your roommate. So you have the option to link with the roommate or you have the option not to and just get a random roommate. So I was linking with the roommate 
And to do that, you need two things. You need to remember two things. Um, so the first thing you need is your roommate's number, and that will come in the email that you get to register for your dorm's account. It's Don't get it confused with the candidate number that you get on your acceptance email, but it's your roommate number that you will get on the email that you get to register for your dorm's account. So you need that, and then you also need to remember that when you're registering for dorms and you were linking with a roommate, you and your roommate cannot do it at the same time or it'll mess the system up. <clears throat> so you need to pick a link leader, which is what it's called on there, to register first. And then once you link with your roommate and you finish it and you click submit, then it'll just send an email to your roommate that you're linking with and they will fill out their form. So the link leader puts the roommate number in, links with that roommate, and they also get to put their room preferences. So make sure that you talk with your roommate, figure out which room preference you want to put down. And then it'll send an email to them, and then that the second person doesn't have to put their room preference in. It'll I, I don't know what it says. It might ask you, is this okay? This is what the link leader put, whatever. So that's just some important information that I wanted to let y'all know because I didn't know it until like the day before. But just to let you know that if you do want to link with a person, you don't need to do it at the same time together. You need to make sure one of them does it first, and then the second person waits on the email to come to them, and then they can fill out the registration themselves. So that was just some information that I wanted y'all to know because I wouldn't want y'all to mess up the dorms and mess up the system and not be able to link with your roommate. Today is July 10th which means I have six weeks until I arrive. So that means that today I get to buy my parking pass. I have been logged on since about 7.30. It opens at 8. And I don't know if you're supposed to log in early, but I was anxious, so I logged on early. Um, but as soon as 8 o'clock clicks, I'm going to refresh my page and hopefully get my parking pass. The recruiter said that it shouldn't be an issue getting your parking pass, but I'm still very nervous. I got my parking pass. All I had to do was click that I was attending the event, which is like the parking decal event, I guess. And then all you had to do was put in your card information, your name, and your email address and your phone number and then you paid and then you got an email to confirm it so yeah I can take my car down there I'm so excited I haven't seen anybody not get one so I wouldn't stress too much about it okay so a couple weeks ago on dorms you could go ahead and pay your second payment for your program fee so I think it's been open for a couple weeks and I think you can pay it for a while now I think it's just gonna be open for a while so you have time to pay it before you get there but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it today okay the dorms fee was $180 just to let y'all know and then also the second payment of your housing was 191 so 65 of it goes to um, like fees and stuff or housing accommodations and the rest of it goes to your first week of rent so just to let y'all know on that. Okay, so it's Wednesday, July 19th, and I got an email today at 3.30 that we got our rolls, and we were supposed to get them on Friday, and it just came so out of the blue, and everyone freaked out, and I haven't looked at it, and it's 8 o'clock, and I am about to freak out. I'm on my way home, so I wanted to wait until my parents could be with me when my sisters and my brother, my sister and my brother could, I literally can't talk, I'm so excited, could um, be with me while I open it, but I got my roll today. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, this is me editing, but I wanted to say that in my phone interview, my top three roles were, one was Bippity Boppy Boutique, two was Character Attendant, and three was attractions and I went into that phone interview knowing that no matter what I said really didn't matter because I've always heard that Disney just places you where they need you because the DCP is the bottom of the totem pole so they just place you where they need you so it doesn't really matter what you say so I just wanted to preface this next clip by saying that okay bye enjoy it takes a minute to log in so y'all <laughs> 
You're in the video. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm fired up about it. <laughs> Work day, I use that. Why won't it let me do it? Okay. Okay, she's in the whips. I don't know where to see where. <laughs> it says WDWCP character to me. Okay, so it says on there if you don't, once you do the work day, then it tells you where you're going to be. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. It says you got to do your work day thing. And then you go. Oh, this thing right yeah, here. Yeah, and then once you do all that, it tells you. <clears throat> where you're physically placed, because a lot of people are like, where's oh, this, where's I this? this? We're never gonna know. <laughs> Character attendant, character attendant, character attendant, character attendant. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're gonna What does E N T E C mean? Oh, that word. Wait, where do you see that? Yep. No, it's not. Well, look on my e Oh, E N T E C. -T -E -C. You're gonna be a good one. All right, we almost may have something. Hang on. E N T. That's entry. I'm not done. Entry. Entry. Oh. So that's a part. So we know it's. E C is that part. <gasps> oh, that. Entrance of Epcot. They bring characters out there. What does that mean? Hold on, I'm not done filling stuff out. She's she's uh, yeah, I feel like she can pick up chefs <laughs> otherwhere, but that's where she'll be. <laughs> it could be the entry to um the countries at the World Showcase, and that could be right there where Donald is. That is true. It could be the entry to that. It could be the entry. It's about my, my, my habaneros. <laughs> Bye. The three habaneros. All right. Look, Mama. Did you find out? Hey. It's, uh, <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we don't know. I'm going to flip it around. Cool. Yeah. You can talk to her. All right. Well, I'm sad. I'm so All right. I'm excited. Our little, our little uh, character attendant. <laughs> 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 I know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That was kind of the back lid. I said, you don't get that. But you did. I know, I'm so excited. That's awesome. You have to wear such an ugly outfit. I know, it's so ugly. Look how ugly it is. Oh, it is ugly. That's those Capri shorts. Look, 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 look. Wait, look, look. This is what, wait a minute. Look at those shoes. Hang on. Look, this is what they go. That's what she has to wear. to wear. <laughs> oh, your hair is already in my ears. That's all right. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. There's a lot of really good outfits down there. I'm just relieved. They're all no, they ugly. Don't. They're all ugly. Okay, so ENT does not mean entry, it means entertainment because character attendant is listed under the entertainment role. So I can just be anywhere in Epcot. That's all right. Princesses or characters or figment or figment. Oh my god, <laughs> Pooh! I love Pooh. Or the princesses at Akershus. I'm so excited. Okay, just had to let you know what that meant in case you did. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay, so it's July 25th, and we're in the Walmart parking lot, and we got our leases. So I'm about to. Avery oh, got a four by two. Yeah, my roommate got a four by two. And that was our number one choice. So, so we're hoping you have the same roommate. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we have the same roommate too. Um, okay. Have to agree to, I don't even know what it even looks like. Or I can't even see that far. She just got the news. Don't touch anything. Four by two. Yay!
All right. I don't know how to figure out the apartment number. Um, Did she say what hers was? Let me see. It does not, but it says Hartsall Road. I've seen okay, that. mine says that too. But I don't know if that means what that means. But right here. Unit type. Can you see it? <laughs> what am I looking for? <laughs> Where is it at? I don't know. But it looks like it's like a document. Oh, okay. But I have to sign it, so I'm gonna sign that. And then maybe it'll tell me. Full hang tag fee one eighty administrative fee sixty five. I, I read about that. That's something that they will charge you the first it comes out of your first paycheck. So there's my like page, a, my first paycheck's gonna have nothing. <laughs> Because you paid for a two by two, so you'll get the addition of the four by two, and then that sixty-five dollars, whatever it is. Note to Emily: Read your lease. Okay. Okay, so I'm at work, but I have some information that I wanted to update the vlog on. So a couple days ago, we got our leases and we only got to like sign our lease and figure out what room type we were in. So we couldn't figure out like our apartment number, the room number, even if you're linked with your roommate or not. And you are supposed to only figure that out when you arrive to Flamingo. So like on your arrival day, you'll figure that out. But there's a trick that everybody knows apparently. I didn't even know about it until a couple days ago. So you download the app Parcel Pending which is, I guess, the app that they use for all that kind of stuff. And you try to log in. Um, you log in with your um, username that you use for all of your Disney stuff, like mine's my email. So you try to log in with that, and then you say forget password. And then if it lets you, like, log in and, like, create a new password, then they have put you in the system and the manager has signed your lease or whatever, so you can see that. You can see, like, your room number and all that. And But if not, it'll just say, like, you're not in the system yet, blah, blah, blah. So I've been trying that all day, but a lot of people have like been able to figure it out. So hopefully I'll figure it out soon. Like we just got our leases like maybe two days ago. So um, there's a little trick for you that I didn't know. So hopefully um, it'll work here soon, but just wanted to let you know. Okay, so me and Avery are in the same building and unit. <laughs> I'm so excited. It doesn't have like A, B, C, or D on it, but Fingers crossed we are like sharing a bathroom together, but yay. Okay, so when you like go to parcel pending, you have to like say forget password. And then if it'll let you, it'll be like send an email to you to change your password. So I did that and then logged back in. And then you go to my profile and scroll down and it's right there in the property information. Okay, so today is July 24th, and we got an email to fill out your I-9 form. So that's just like verifying that you are, are able to work in the United States. So I've heard that you need your driver's license, your social security card, and your passport. I don't think you need all three. I think you just need two, like either your driver's license or your passport, but I just have all three just in case. So let's go fill out our I-9 form. Okay, so there's two sections of filling out your I-9. The first section is like your information, which is where you'll put your driver's license slash your passport and then also your social security card. And then the second section must be um, filled out by a representative that you choose. So like I'm choosing my mom, so she'll do that part, but I'm not really sure what they do. It just says section two must be completed by your designated representative prior to your first day of employment. <laughs> so... Um, I'm sure it's just like verifying that that your person is able to work at Disney. I don't know. Okay, mom's gonna tell us what she did for the second part, the second section of the I-9 form. So when she, you filled out your um, form, form, I don't know, I can't think <laughs> what it was. It sent me an email, and I had to go in there and verify that whatever proof 
of citizenship that she used, which happened to be her passport. Matched. Or it can be your um, driver's license, either yeah. one. And then you had your social security card, but you didn't ask me for I that. had to, like, manually put that in okay. there. Okay. Um, then I had to go in there, and I had to click through, and I had to enter information off of her passport to ensure that it matched what she scanned and uploaded in to her form herself. Yeah, because I had to like take a picture of it and then upload it into there, the front yeah. and the back. But I had to do it on my end, and then once I, I did that, Kendall Lee. once I did that, it just ended. <laughs> and then you got an email that it was that it, that was, it was verified complete. and it was complete. So yeah. that was the piece that I had to do. But like I had to get her passport and enter matching information off of there, passport number, um, expiration date, and then I had to put your hire date in there. For oh yeah. Disney. So yeah. my hire. Uh, so your hire date is the Friday after you arrive, which is like the day you're hired, which is the day you have traditions. So my. Yeah. Well, that's not 8-5. 8-25. You said 8-5. No. Well, I don't know. I put... Anyway. <laughs> no, you didn't. I don't know. Your hire date is supposed to be the Friday after you arrive. Because that's your traditions date, which is when you become an official cast member. So, mean? like, I arrive the 21st and my hire date is the 25th. So, make sure that you know that. we got to check that out. I hope we can. <laughs> okay, so, anyway. Just letting you know. But I got an email when I finished my section, and then she got an email when she finished her section. So, there we go. I got my itinerary. Okay, so it's August 8th, and we got our itinerary. So, let's take a look. Still says I'm a character agent. <laughs> I check that every day, make sure it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, so check in 8.30, yeah. Background check, 9.40. Um, that's where you have your fingerprint. Ticket distribution, 8.30. You'll receive one day park hopper tickets to be used within seven days of this appointment. Three one day park hopper tickets. Hmm? That's new. Yeah, that is new. You will receive a separate, separate email titled Welcome Ticket Information a few days prior to your arrival with details. Mm. And then Traditions is at 10 10. Class lasts approximately four hours, and there's one 15 minute break approximately two hours into the class. You have to do be in Disney look. Which is business casual. Yay! I hope Avery has the same times as me. But that's not till Friday, right? Yeah, traditions on Friday. So the three day park copper ticket is for those three days in between. It's pretty cool they're doing that. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, it was very fun for me to film, just getting my reactions to all the different things that was a surprise to me, so I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope it also gave you a little insight on what you'll be doing from the time you accept your uh, acceptance to when you move in. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I gave you a little information that you didn't know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!